Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of uh, legendary difficulty Phoenix Point. It is time for our next special mission, saving Helena in Fort Hanlon. Uh, Helena was uh, one of the lead researchers, I think, and she uh, has now been in captured by New Jericho which of course we cannot accept so we want her to be free and we are uh, going to rescue her generally speaking uh, there is still quite a bit that I need to do um, in order to improve our soldiers and I was thinking uh, yesterday by myself that one of the problems that I do have with heavies is their accuracy penalty. Minus four, minus eight, and minus four. So I'm wondering if we give them like other helmets with an accuracy bonus, then at least they are not as inaccurate as they used to be. We still need the the jump jets because they are just absolutely awesome. But maybe we can mix and match a little bit more. Um, perception here, accuracy. Well, that would be only 14 armor. That's unfortunately not increasing speed either. But I was thinking if we could maybe just give them uh, the helmet for now so that the accuracy isn't completely dumb. Same here with a pistol. Accuracy is really, really, really low. Minus eight, minus seven, minus six, yeah. On the other hand, can we give them... Do we have other bigger bigger armor? Giving Enders uh, like Golem armor, for instance, could help to propel um, Enders more in the battlefield. I really like the jump jet. Uh, piece so let's maybe try that Banshee 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 Judgment Head increases the speed of every uh, everybody and makes them immune to panic well let's try that Looks a little bit uh, wonky, the mix and match, but the accuracy at least isn't going down too much. Yes, the armor isn't as high, but I like the 20 tiles um, um, instill frenzy buff. And this here would go nicely together with a jump jet. Now, Accuracy minus four versus accuracy minus seven. I think that isn't too bad. These Odin armors are decent. I don't have any complaints with them, other that they are not really giving any percept uh, any accuracy bonuses. Okay, well that's fine. I can. I think we can live with that. Uh, give him some more ammunition. Uh, he does not have any additional weapon. Um, proficiency, so instead give him a grenade. Natalia is fine, although I was thinking 
if you theoretically could take the tor uh, the torso with the jump jets, but I think we don't have any one left over. No, we don't. Because a sniper with uh, the jet jump jets wouldn't be bad either. That would actually be quite cool. She's okay though. Birdie is okay. And here we need another helmet again. Banshee helmet. That also frees up some carry capacity. So accuracy is okay, um, accuracy with her sniper is 36%, that's great. And by the way Dilly G, we finished that armor, not that Dilly is, is uh, helping at the moment, but well, we definitely gave him the new armor. Why uh, does Dilly only have 20% accuracy, whilst Natalia has almost 40? What is different here? Oh, she has the cautious trait. He also has cautious, but, but later down. Okay, cool. Anyways, uh, let's deploy the squad. Long preparation. Good, we're landing. I'm, by the way, thinking to replace Birdie here with something a little bit more sustainable. The repair is too little, and I think we would be better off with three... Uh, with three soldiers instead. This here is flammable. Oh boy. <gasps> nice. New Jericho Technician and New Jericho Technician, both of which I'm here. Are now heavily, heavily injured. Out of curiosity, well, that's not too bad. I mean, it is better than before. Keep in mind just how far Roll these it. guys are away, right? There is an assault. Show them what we can do. Lennon over here and walk by him. We got to keep going. Sprinting forward. Should have done that at the very beginning. Tell you what, we're going to move here. Uh, 
And now everybody is frenzied. Okay, cool. My turn. Interesting. Yeah. Opening fire. This is our land. You're gonna love this. Damn it. I'm sticking to the plan. Killing time. Alright, we gotta retreat our vehicle. Just taking way too much damage. Trying to figure out, can we hit both? I think it would be helpful if they would fall down. This guy is currently far away from where he's supposed to be and we haven't really damaged the other one but yeah we got one and that's not bad His equipment is gone, which means, for now, he's no longer a big threat. Five by five. In the meantime, Natalia, All I can need clear, is clear, clear this out. for full cover yeah we need to kill this thing <clears throat> yep that's important popping the anti I want another shot bad could have been a hit pushing on ah! good one technician down I'm here Another one to go.
We are definitely slower with uh, this massive centerpiece, so maybe getting this jetpack over here is not the best idea. Oh, come on! What? Fumbled? Identifying target. Ooh, that could have gone better. Yeah, that's unfortunate, and he's not proficient with it, so. Okay. Well, you can only make these experiences if you're trying something out. <coughs> And clearly, giving the centerpiece hasn't worked well, but giving the sniper helmet so far, I'm actually impressed with the increase of aiming precision. Protecting humanity. Good. This guy we can ignore for now. Good, three of them are killed outright. <laughs> Starting with more bombardment. Good hit. Is not what I signed up for. Second one was a really good hit. But he needs to move a bit further to the back. Do we have a plan? <laughs> hmm. Okay, not perfect, but five by five. okay for now. Tyler definitely My needs head. to heal. I can't breathe. Sniper shot had been heavy had been a heavy problem. <laughs> Equipment damaged and quite a bit of other stuff also damaged. I think we're fine. Definitely do the workout. That removes the options from both of these guys. Can't frenzy again. One, two, three. Ah. Eh. On my way. Turrets are irrelevant. That guy needs to die. Overwatch. Moving up. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. <clears throat> there you go. I may need a new limb. On the move. And back into cover. Okay. Good. Three more enemies. Oh, 
Oh, the turrets can still shoot. Oh, and they do a, and they deal quite a substantial amount of damage. Okay, that's not okay. That is not okay. Got lucky. It's hard to shoot like this. Looks dangerous. Going into cover. We'll get the turret. Attempting overwatch. Just a matter of time. All set. Little green moves up. Let's try it again. We can drop down next turn and have the melee weapon in hand. It's actually quite helpful to have that option, but if he can fumble, then that is not a good start. He, ne he needs to be able to deal with that golem armor. Keep my eyes open. Here we go. Tyler goes back. And we have two more shots left over. Which I intend to use a bit later. For now, let's park over here. I'll enjoy this. Vince moves up. Huh? Went straight through the armor. And I think we got this guy. He's bleeding. Yeah, he's down. All set. Oh, we can't fall down just one level. You would fall down two because the hole is just too big. Jammed again? Yeah, we can't. We can't give them the jetpacks. This is not sustainable. All I need is a clear shot. Good sprinting, still need healing. So we're moving here so that we can get healed next turn. Waiting with our rockets because I don't want to waste them. Good. I'm ready. One 
more person left over and we don't have healing supplies. Tyler moves up. Great to have extra ammunition, but I'm looking for healing supplies. Didn't he have a jetpack? Oh yeah, he did, but not enough uh, willpower. Acquiring targets. Unbelievable that you can't hit that turret. I'm not skilled with this one. Best part of the job. Double time. Here goes. All set. We're going to heal soon. In the meantime, huh? Why is he not able to <clears throat> to jetpack? Let's rock. Oh, because of the torso, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Oh, come on! Fumbles again. Okay, this guy is down there. Finally down. And we're moving closer towards the target. What we can do. Tyler heals himself. We have a sniper rifle and a pistol. more ammunition I'm going Tyler gets into a position dashing ahead little green gets into a position and there is apparently another one That something opens up, we'll be firing at it. They can't stop me. Full cover for Natalia. Overwatch. Next turn, we're going in. Anywhere. 
Advancing. Oh, that's a civilian. Not any civilian, but Dr. Helena. I'm going. Moves in, moves out, good. Not the best position to deal uh, to deal with uh, the rocket launchers. All right, Overwatch. Bringing Italia a little bit closer. Overwatch, and we're not jumping down yet. That'll happen next turn. Not yet injured enough. Let's show them what we can. Just like ah. target practice. I see you. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, that was quite difficult at the beginning. Lots of enemies. But it plays a little bit like Yellow Alert on XCOM. Once you trigger an enemy, the entire map seems to be triggered. And the moment that you just decades were needed to get to this point the old phoenix project didn't want to see new jericho didn't want to accept i really hope the third time's a charm we have always been so busy focusing on recent phenomena we ran in circles researching the mists the pandora virus the thousands of mutations that appeared but never searched for its true origins we weren't the first to deal with this Randolph's grandfather found evidence of sites and artifacts predating known history. With the ice caps melted, we stand a better chance of finding them than he ever did. Good, New Jericho doesn't like what we are doing, but we got a lot of research out of it. So as I was saying, it kind of feels like the moment that you are starting to uh, to trigger one enemy, you trigger them all. Okay. Um... They're still trading with us though. Yeah, just for the wrong material. I have to wonder if we can get more recruits. There is a berserker here. I like to have one. And assault, I think. Berserker, berserker, berserker. Oh, is that a priest? I think it is. Which means that's our next uh, move. Research complete. Research complete. Uh, lightweight and silent. These weapons are capable of emitting direct bursts into high intensity laser. Each laser weapon is powered by universal fusion cell. So lots of ammunition. 
I really like laser weapons, but they don't seem to be uh, very good against uh, armored targets. We're not the first to seek the Antilovidian civilization throughout history. Great collectors have um, prized uh, surveying texts and schematas. Today some of these collections lie forgotten. We need to uh, we need them if we want to succeed against the Pedorian threat. Our research indicates one such collection which describes a weapon of staggering simplicity and effectiveness located not far from the base. The Mathog. Okay, we're going to do that after I have started hiring. Yeah, wait, 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 just out of curiosity. Trade here. Two for 12, good. But Haven Info. to bring her to Phoenix Point. What kind of class did we get? She's a priest, right? Yes. Very much yes. I like them. So what do they have? Mind control, that's awesome. Panic, that's great. All organic enemies within 15 tiles are automatically revealed. <laughs> and mind crush, 100 dam damage to all entities within 10 tiles. All right, dope. They come with a hat mutation. And uh, some cool armor. <clears throat> Good, we got another berserker here, which I think should be our next target. Um, just filling the ranks a little bit. I want the prime team to have two more. Optimally, I would want to go with a technician and uh, one of those priests. We got the priests, that's good. And the secondary team needs some more support as well. A synthetic neurotoxin has been developed which allows us to paralyze the target without killing them. Okay, uh, that is what? Hera is the weapon. And it takes paralysis. Okay, I see. Plus a little bit of damage. In terms of manufacturing, I tell you what, I mean, we really need to not always build new stuff because it gets expensive. We need resources now more than ever. And for now, we just need to keep our finances a bit tight. Haven Info. Good, 
I'm just realizing potentially can't even uh, recruit that other soldier unless unless we're continuing to trade. Two for ten, not optimal, but okay. Yeah, two for nine, I'm not going to do that. We're losing money with it. And we got a new intelligence report. Ugh. These guys seem to evolve. Oh, th this one is new. C Alpha H variant has grown chitin armor at limbs. Well, fantastic. All right, two for twelve. Well, that sounds like a good trade. Also, oh, they want a thousand. No, 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 I appreciate that you think a priest is worth a thousand, but we don't have that sort of money lying around. Good. Can we... Should we go somewhere further? These guys still look reasonably okay. Here's 30 points left over. Uh, action points for grenades and other explosives reduced by one. And range is incre uh, increased. So... Let's try that. Enders, the Golem B armor did not work out. Let's be honest here. We need something that still promotes speed. Berserker armor. Unfortunately, has accuracy penalties. Can't let that happen. How about the normal Odin armor? That looks like a good compromise. And the golem legs are a problem as well. Okay, so... Now the speed isn't too inhibited and we still got that nice judgment headdress. I am quite happy with the sniper heads on them. Okay, well, I think they are okay, in an okay shape, so we could do another mission, which means let's move complete. to there. Research complete. We got the new Jericho Gauss rifle. I think that was the one with uh, just one action point. Yeah. I like it. 
That's a good sidearm. Good, these two are currently in Phoenix Point just getting experience for free. Don't have a great idea how we integrate them into teams yet. Our main team seems to be very stable. We just need to let them heal. Wow, there's just so much micromanagement. Maybe I'm just overcomplicating uh, things, but pff, holy. What are your weapon proficiencies with viral weapons? Yeah, I don't have those at the moment, which means you're just going to get an assault rifle, buddy. Or a laser pistol. No, he, you do have quite a bit of encumbrance to work with. There you go. Med kit. Stanislav, our berserker. It's Berserker Armor at the moment. Benji, no, no, no. Definitely not Golem Legs. Well, there you go. Better than no armor. Melee weapon. And we currently can't uh, can't even afford to equip every everybody here. Need to make sure that I've not expanded too fast. These guys here are getting experience in the frozen circuit and we're still waiting for the Manticore to finish up. So once that is happening, we have our third team. Uh, let's just look at the personnel. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's exactly what I would, oh wait, no. It's five because this guy here can we redeploy them? Bases, frozen circuit, personal. How do I transfer people from one area to another? Hmm. Okay, they need to be on an aircraft and you basically need to fly them there. Okay, that sort of makes sense. Anyways, we got almost a full team and the Scarab. The Scarab could be there to defend the base if needed. Uh, we need one more soldier in in that team, but we could purchase uh, that soldier. I mean, currently we got a technician here, sniper, assault, two assaults, heavy sniper technician. So another Berserker or something would definitely round up that team nicely. This team here I think is fine, but we can definitely, we could definitely benefit from not just using Birdie, but instead more people. Um, and we already got two. Uh, I will send them on to the missions with this team just to get more experience faster. 
my understanding is they still get experience even if they are in the air in the airships uh, so it's just one person missing uh, one one more um, person missing and the prime team just stays the prime team for now we have a huge resource drain so I need to first of all farm resources and get our finances back in order prime team needs needs to um, heal up and the second team can now go and do the mission and then afterwards come back and pick up the newbies Research complete. good grenade laser technology new item Phoenix grenade launcher blast 60 shreds 10 that's good uh, so it's armor shredding three action points eight armor uh, ammunition that's something for the heavies Ooh, okay cool I hate to do it but yeah, how much does that thing cost Okay, I'm, damn it, we need, we need uh, material because that's a great investment. Also, I think we got a new sniper rifle here. Just don't have uh, the money to buy ma magazines at the moment. Prime team almost repaired again. Bandits dwell in the ruins of the city. A great collector lived and died here decades ago. Search the ruins for the Antediluvian Schemata. We are going to do that in the next episode. If uh, you are looking for an Antediluvian Schemata, hit the like button. That's the first uh, first sign of direction. Uh, and maybe you'll find it. Take care and see you in two days. Bye-bye.